Hey everyone, this is Phil White, uh, the Earth Sciences Librarian at City Boulder. In this clip, I'm going to quickly go over how to download uh, satellite and other remote sensing data from the USGS Earth Explorer site. Um, if you are familiar with the Geospatial Data Library Guide, uh, you can find this under the National tab uh, down here under land cover, elevation, satellite imagery, Earth Explorer. You can also just Google USGS Earth Explorer and you'll find it. Uh, this is what the homepage of Earth Explorer looks like. So once you arrive, um, the first thing you want to do typically is set up something called a, an area of interest. So uh, if you're interested in, say, uh, our area, then you might want to use the screen as uh, the map the map view as your area of interest. So what we can do here over on the left is tell it to use a map. You could uh, do something like that and then you'll see you have an area of interest. You can adjust this if you want by uh, making it bigger or smaller um, or anything like that. So that's step one, setting up an area of interest. Um, you might also want to pay attention here to the date range. So if you're looking for something from a, a relatively brief window of time, then you might want to um, change this up. So let's pretend that I'm looking for things uh, from, uh, let's say, July of 2017. Maybe I want to do like July 1st, 2017 through uh, the end of that month. So I'll do uh, 2017, July through. So I've got one month time span here. Okay. Uh, once you set up these parameters, you can you don't have to worry too much about this. Um, go ahead and uh, click data sets. And so here you can see all of the data sets that are available in Earth Explorer, and there are a lot. So um, some of the ones you might use uh, frequently, uh, things that I'm directing people to a lot. Uh, maybe first let's talk about aerial imagery. So uh, there's a lot of air photos on here. Air photos are really nice. Um, NAEP is the National Agricultural Imagery Program by the USDA. It's maybe, I would say that's my go-to air photo source. Uh, when you're looking through these um, data sets that are available in here, uh, the thing to do first is toggle the coverage map. So that's this little icon right here, and just to see that uh, just to see if your area is covered. So I'll turn this one on. We can see that the whole U.S. is covered uh, by, well, the whole uh, contiguous 48 are covered by the, the NAEP stuff. Uh, I'll turn that off. There's a few other high-resolution ones in here, too, like the, this high-resolution ortho imagery. That's a little bit better than NAEP, but uh, it doesn't have as much coverage. So like in our area, uh, we have like partial coverage. And then... Um, you can check out some of the others here as well. The second thing I recommend you do before you go uh, to the next step is uh, there's a little little bitty um, eye information icon here. And you can look at the metadata for this collection and learn a little bit about it. So uh, if we take a look at this, we'll see that uh, NAEP is administrated by uh, USDA, Farm Service Agency. Uh, the NAEP acquires aerial imagery at a resolution of one meter. Um, other things about the resolution, format, this is all really useful information to know, uh, along with the uh, coordinate reference system. So this is good stuff to know going in so that you get things that are useful to you uh, without downloading a bunch of garbage that you don't need. So I definitely recommend whatever, you, whatever you're about to download, um, read the info real quick to make sure it's going to be useful for you. Uh, so other things that are in here, um, there's quite a lot. Uh, maybe a really popular one would be Landsat. So there's a lot of Landsat stuff in here. Um, if you're going to do some sort of uh, satellite imagery, uh, so maybe you're doing a model or something like that, there's a little bit of land cover stuff. It's uh, kind of broad resolution. Um, some vegetation monitoring, things like that. If you need some NDVI, uh, vegetation index information, um, definitely spend a little bit of time looking through some of the things available to you in Earth Explorer. So then the next question is, how do I download? Um, once you've decided which data set you want, go ahead and check it, and then you can go to the results page. So click results and see what's available. Um, 
when you get on the results page, so uh, you can take a look at, they have little previews of, of what's available. You can uh, click this little foot. It will give you the footprint of that image. So we can see that this one is kind of in uh, far western Boulder County, sort of near the Indian Peaks and Rocky Mountain National Park. Um, you can take a look at others and see where they are, and you kind of start to get the sense of uh, where you can grab these. Um, if you want, you can also do a little image preview. Uh, I know it's hard to see right now, but it gives you a preview. Um, once you've selected the ones that you need, you can click the download button. And what you'll get is this. So note that it asks you to log in. Um, a login is required for most things on Earth Explorer. It's free, it's really easy to do. I already have an account. If you don't, create a new account. It uh, goes really quickly. Uh, sign in. Then you can go grab the image that you want and download it. And that's it. It's as easy as that. Earth Explorer is pretty straightforward. It's just a little quirky here and there, uh, figuring out how to use. But the main thing to remember is first select your area of interest, then set up your parameters, then choose a data set. And then uh, use tools like the footprints and make sure that you take a look at the metadata before you download. Okay, see you next time.